hello guys welcome back to the channel um so i am moving to my first ever apartment on saturday and i'm gonna bring you guys with me if you guys didn't know i am moving out i have lived at home my whole life in the same house um and i'm at university but i didn't move out to university because i live so close to london um that i just get the train and like i stayed living with my parents because the year that i was going to uni it was locked down and like i didn't want to move far away from my family and get like locked away um in a random town where i didn't know anyone so yeah basically i've never moved out and i'm now in my third year of university and i've just been sort of feeling the need for my own space and my boyfriend just finished his degree he was going to buy uni and then he's moved back to where I live so we're gonna move in together now um and yeah that's my little explanation but I don't know if today's video is going to be like a moving vlog or whether it's just gonna be a few random chats because I don't really know how much I'm gonna film um but I'm really into like vlogging at the moment because I don't know if you guys watch I've just come back from Australia I haven't actually posted a video since my last Sydney vlog so I probably should explain like where I've been but basically I was gonna film a third Sydney vlog but I filmed like one minute's worth of content and I went to edit it and I was like, this is so pointless, like there's no point even putting this into a video. So I thought I would just give up and sort of go straight into the moving in content because literally I got back from Australia on Tuesday. It is now Thursday and I'm moving in on Saturday. So I've been so busy just like packing, unpacking and then packing to move out that I haven't had a chance to like just do anything. So I thought I'm going to film a moving vlog because that is the one thing I'm spending my life doing at the moment. So I can just bring you guys with me. And I really love watching moving vlogs, like I've watched, because I feel like most of the main sort of YouTubers that I watch have moved out at some point and they did moving vlogs at the time and they're just really fun to watch and just, yeah, I like being nosy at people's houses so I thought you guys might want to be nosy at my house. But yeah, as I said, it's Thursday, I've just actually got back from uni, it was my second day of uni today. Um, and I'm so happy because where I'm moving to is closer to where my uni is so it's going to mean I have to spend less time like on the train and less time traveling so this week it was annoying because I had a, a bit of a longer commute but when I move on Saturday then I will be living closer to uni which is good but yeah I don't know if you guys can see behind me if you recognize the background has changed because I've like got rid of loads of stuff or packed it because I got rid of all the like prints on my wall um I've packed them ready to take to the new place I've like taken down my rail behind me and like put my old mirror back there my wardrobe has no clothes in it and yeah I'm just like in a bit of a mess because I've never moved out before as I said I've lived in this house my whole life and yeah most people like move out when they're 18 to go to uni but I just didn't so I don't know how to pack clothes and I did put a Instagram story up the other day and people gave me loads of tips but a lot of the tips were saying how you should like keep your clothes on the hangers and like put bin bags but at that point I'd already taken all the clothes off hangers out of my wardrobe so I was a bit annoyed at myself but anyway I have started packing and like I feel like I've pretty much packed a lot of stuff um but it's hard to know like how much stuff to take because I'm like because I'm moving with my boyfriend I'm like he probably doesn't want all my like really girly decorations like all the stuff in my bedroom I'm like I don't know whether I need to take everything and like just like stuff like clothes that are more summery clothes I could just leave them here because my parents this is my parents house so like I can leave some clothes in my old bedroom um so I just don't know like how much stuff to take and then when I was in Australia because I was like living out of a suitcase I was also like really wearing clothes more and it's kind of put me in a mood of like okay I only need like two pairs of jeans I only need two jackets you know I can like really wear stuff so then I feel like I need to start like unpacking and putting stuff away that I've packed because I don't need everything that I pack now I don't know anyway this is just a random intro I don't know what I'm gonna film in this vlog but hope you enjoy and yeah I will show you some of my packing right now because there is a big mess everywhere I'm gonna show you the situation we're working with in my bedroom right now so as I said I've removed my prints off the wall which were there um I did attempt to empty like my wardrobe and my drawers fully but then I ended up as I said like I tried to like unpack because I decided that I'm a minimalist now. When I first started packing, um, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have my wardrobe completely empty. I'm gonna have like nothing in my room at home. I'm gonna like take it all with me. But then as I said, when I was in Australia, I like decided to become like a minimalist. Well, not really, but like I decided I didn't need to bring as many clothes as I originally thought. So now my wardrobe and all my drawers in my bedroom are filled with clothes again because I decided I didn't need to take like all my summer and like warm weather clothes because it's going to be cold soon so yeah basically these drawers 
should be empty but they're actually more full than they were before which I don't know how that's possible and like my wardrobe also this is a washing basket which I've just filled with clothes because I had nowhere else to put them so I've just put them in there um and my wardrobe I mean it is kind of half empty as you see but I mean this is still like got jeans on and stuff um but yeah I also have turned my sister's old bedroom into like a packing room because I didn't want to make my room like fill up of boxes and stuff even though there's quite a lot of boxes in here but I'll show you in my sister's room what it looks like also it's like really dark in my sister's room at all times I don't know why let me turn the light on okay this is the situation right now I'm kind of embarrassed to show the camera this but I mean I, I just have so many clothes like even though I've put half my clothes back in my wardrobe I still have so many clothes and this is what we're dealing with I bought these massive bags from Amazon and I was like, yeah, I only need like one or two, but I filled up like six of them with clothes and I've like, they've got little labels, so I've labeled them. And then I've got like some random stuff, like those are the prints from my wall, some random stuff. I brought this little stool to go in the apartment. And yeah, I'm gonna also maybe like fill up the suitcases because this is just crazy. Like I have too many clothes. Also, I need to like pack up all my stuff from my bathroom, but it's just so weird. It's it's like the day before you go on holiday when you need to pack stuff, but then it's like, wait, no, I need to use this in the morning. This is how I feel with like everything, all my clothes, all, all my toiletries. Cause I'm like, wait, no, I need this the next few days, but then I need to pack it because like, I need to be ready to go on Saturday. Okay, we're in the bathroom. Also, the toilet in my bathroom currently has broken, but it's kind of good because that means I can just put stuff on it. Um, and this is some random PR that arrived yesterday and I've still got all this stuff to pack. This is like all my like skincare and it's so like nice and organized in here that I don't wanna like just ruin it by putting in a box, but I'm gonna have to. But I think my jobs for this evening is sort out the bathroom, have like a few things out obviously that I need to use the next few days but try and pack like most of the stuff like for example I don't think I'm gonna wash my hair before Saturday now so I can pack all my like hair masks and hair like shampoo and stuff um so I think that's my job for tonight and then I think I'm pretty much packed like as you saw I have a lot of clothes already packed in those in those like grey bags but there's just like little things around my bedroom that I'm like I don't know if I want to take this like I have like taylor swift merch and just all these random little knickknacks where i'm like i don't really know if that's like the vibe that's not like how i want to decorate the new like bedroom um but also i don't want it to look really empty in there so i'm like maybe i should bring stuff i just I don't know as i keep saying i've never moved house so i don't know like what people normally bring and like i don't know what people normally bring to like uni because i feel like it's sort of the equivalent of me going to uni because i still have my bedroom at home to use if i want to so yeah basically that's the situation we're in i might go and do the bathroom now if i can bring myself to do it i need to drink a bit more coke i need some more caffeine because i just got back from london from uni yeah you know what i'm gonna do the bathroom now if i don't do it now i've only got tomorrow to pack so i'm gonna do it now to get that out of the way i'm gonna put on um a youtube video i have been watching mike's mike's pretty little liars um like series thing on youtube while i've been packing and it's been so good like i've watched that so many times if you haven't seen it and you like the show pretty little liars or if you've ever wanted to watch the show but you oh sorry tripod is moving um it's just like a really good series i don't know how else to explain it but if you like like 2000 tv shows and you like funny youtube like video essays then it's a really good one to watch and it's like seven hours long so i've been watching that this whole time i've been packing so far but yeah, I'm gonna put, I, fin I finished watching that now, so I can't watch that, but I'm gonna like find some other video, oh. I'm gonna find some other video essay to watch and do the bathroom stuff because that is the main thing on my list right now to pack because everything is still in there as you saw. Good morning, it is moving day. It's been like one day since I filmed the last footage and I've spent all of yesterday just basically finishing off like packing. I packed up my bathroom, I did like all the little bits and basically my room is, I mean, it doesn't look that empty behind me. Like I've still got all my like knickknacks and stuff out, but pretty much like a lot of the drawers are empty and yeah, I'm basically ready to go now. There's just a few like little things like my iPad charger and my phone charger and stuff like that that I need like right up until I leave. But I'm about to get ready and do my makeup because 
I wasn't gonna put makeup on but then I was like panicking I think it's because it's the first time I've moved out I feel like I need to be like an adult and I just feel like because the like estate agent is like giving us the key and like showing us around I don't know this is a stupid reason but yeah I just think I need to look a bit like put together because I don't know I just feel like I don't know I just feel like a baby like I feel really young and I feel like if I had no makeup on and I do look quite young and I, I don't know I just don't want the estate agent to like judge me and be like why are you moving here like you're a baby so basically I'm gonna put makeup on which is probably a stupid reason to put makeup on but I also just want to look nice because like I want to I want to film like a TikTok of like my moving out and stuff so yeah basically I'm putting makeup on okay i finished my makeup and i took my hair out i thought of so many things while i was doing my makeup that i forgot to pack like this mirror which i was just doing my makeup with i was like oh i need this like i swear i just i've never moved house and i just didn't realize like how much stuff you forget and also i was thinking all my like alcohol i have a lot of alcohol because like it's my 21st birthday a few months ago and a lot of people bought me like vodka and champagne and stuff and i'm like oh my god i'm I want to bring that with me because like there's no point just leaving it at my parents house so I need to go pack that but like alcohol bottles are heavy so like I don't even know what bag I'm going to put them in and yeah I'm just very stressed right now I will give you a little final like look at my bedroom before I leave because I'm leaving in like an hour which is really sad I mean I am going to be coming back here like my parents are still going to live here and it's really not that far from the flat so I will be coming back here so it's not like goodbye forever but I'll give you a little like final look on my room it's still a bit messy because I've got a few random boxes to finish but yeah I'll show you here is my empty rail I've still got that bag to do and that's a pile of stuff I'm not taking but I mean my bed's tidy here's me in the mirror and yeah I'm really scared I'll show you my little outfit of the day I'm just wearing this bodysuit from Cotton On which I got in Sydney and I'm wearing these jeans from Pull and Bear but yeah I'm gonna go pack the alcohol which I forgot on as I just said and a few of these final boxes I need to take downstairs and I will update you guys probably when I'm leaving to go pick up the keys which is really scary I think I'm, I'm gonna give you guys like a full um flat tour when I get there so that will be the most exciting part of this video okay we've put a lot of boxes in the car but there's still a few ones here we have all my stuff this is so sad this is probably the last clip you'll see of me in this filming room which is like such an iconic background where I film all my YouTube shorts um but yeah I'm about to leave to go pick up the keys and I need to finish packing up the car and then we're gonna leave and pick up the keys which is very exciting so I will probably catch up with you guys when I'm there which is very exciting hello guys a little update I did not film for the past few days because we've been so crazy busy unpacking and I just decided it would be better to show you guys the flat when it was kind of tidy and like unpacked rather than showing it to you just with loads of boxes in it and you couldn't really see it anyway um, so yeah, it's a few days later. We've been here for three days, I think, and we've pretty much unpacked. There's still a few random bags, which I will try to not film. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much done, apart from there's still like a few things on our list we want to buy, but we're, like we've spent so much money in the past few days, like buying all our furniture and stuff. So yeah, I thought I would give you guys the tour, which I'm sure most of you is why you clicked on this video anyway, and you didn't want all the ramble of me at the beginning. So yeah, I'm gonna give you the tour. Okay, here is the hallway as you walk in the house. I'm aware that it might be a bit echoey, so I apologise for the sound, but I think it's just echoey because we haven't like put loads of like some furnishings everywhere. Um, but yeah, this is the hallway as you walk in. Here is the cupboard with our like washing machine and the boiler and stuff, so and it's got loads of mess in it right now because I've kind of shoved all the bags in there. So we're not going to open that door, but I will show you in here, which is our toilet. So this flat actually has three toilets because it's a two bed flat and there's a ensuite off both bedrooms and then there's another toilet I guess for guests to use. I mean, I don't really know why anyone would need three different toilets, but I'll show you in there anyway. Yeah, so here is the first bathroom. It's literally just a toilet and a sink and a mirror, but this mirror looks really good for taking selfies because it's like really big across the wall. So I'm excited to take pictures in that before I go out if I'm all dressed up. And yeah, there's just like towel rail, toilet paper, usual stuff. I got these soap dispensers from TK Maxx. They're really cute. They remind me of like anthropology, um, like plateware and stuff. So yeah, these are cute. I got one of these for our bathroom as well. Then as you walk in through the toilet into the kitchen area, um, this is a sort of like random little area. We bought this table from Argos. This didn't come with the flat, the mirror did though. So we thought we'd get a little table to like put our keys on when we come through the door and stuff. 
And then I just got this bath up today, it arrived from Amazon. I thought it was going to be a bit bigger because it's kind of small, but yeah, I wanted a bath up to put my alcohol on because I just feel like it's cool and like I want it to, to look all nice. And I got these glasses from TK Maxx. Um, so yeah, this is sort of like what you walk in on as you go through the front door from where we just came from. Then as you turn around this way, it is the kitchen, which I'll move you to. So here is the kitchen. This is probably the most exciting part of the flat. This is one of the reasons when we viewed this flat, I was like, this has the nicest kitchen I've seen because I do really like modern kitchens, but a lot of the modern kitchens in the flats we were looking at were just like white and kind of boring. Whereas I really like the color of this. Like I'm not normally a fan of like bright colors in houses, but I just really like the, like, the shade of blue. And it meant that like, I don't know, I just feel like it makes it the whole flat look a bit more exciting than just like a plain boring white kitchen. But yeah, I'll add in some close ups of the little things around the kitchen. But I got these pasta jars and rice jars from Ikea. Pretty much everything you see is either from Ikea, Argos, or Amazon because that's kind of the places we've been shopping for everything. I've got my little coffee station over here, kettle and toaster there, both from Argos. And then we've got the sink and then our fridge and our freezer is like built in over here. The fridge right now is looking a little empty so I won't show you too much. It's basically just a load of Pepsi Max and drinks. Um, but I think it's me and my boyfriend are so used to living with our parents and having like a small section of the fridge. It's weird to have like a whole fridge to use because we're like, what do we actually put in the fridge? Like we can't think of any food to put in the fridge. Um, but yeah, this is the kitchen. I love it so much. I'm going to be filming so many YouTube videos here. Like I can't wait to be filming like cook with me's eat with me, it's just so much stuff like that because I love cooking and obviously I love food and I love helping you guys make sure you're like eating and stuff so I feel like this kitchen is just going to be great for like filming videos and just featuring and loads of content. Moving around to the living room, so it's all sort of like one big space, the like living room and the kitchen. So we've got the dining table, this came with the flat. Um, there is actually four chairs but we're using one of the chairs in the office at the moment which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, here's our big dining table. Got our sofa, this also came with the flat. Luckily, like a lot of the stuff in this flat was furnished, so we didn't have to buy like too much furniture ourselves. Um, but yeah, I love like just everything. I love I love the table, I love the sofas, I'm like really happy with all the furniture it came with, so we didn't need to buy that much on our own. This is just another angle of the dining room, but I feel like I definitely want to get some sort of prints for both of these walls because it looks a bit empty in here. As I said, we only moved in a few days ago, so we haven't like fully decorated yet. Like I feel like I'm gonna do an updated flat tour in like a few months when we've like fully bought everything because I definitely want like a mirror or some sort of thing on the wall here or like a neon sign or something because right now this kind of area is a bit boring. Also in the corner of the lounge I put this little desk that I brought from home because it like fitted perfectly in this space and this is sort of like my little working from home desk because my boyfriend has his in the second bedroom which I will show you in a minute. Um, but yeah, this desk, I think it was from a company called Futon. My chair's from Amazon and yeah, I've just got some little decorations up there. But yeah, this is such a cute little desk. I'm so happy with like how it fitted in that little gap because I did not measure it at all. I just bought it with me and hoped it would fit. And now I'm just going to flip you around so you can see where the TV is. This is the little TV area. This chair also came with the flat and so did the stand. And then I bought my own like record player, my speakers and my TV. Um, but yeah, I've got all my Taylor Swift records, which we play all the time. And then off the living room, there's a little balcony. I'm going to try and show it, but obviously I don't want to show the view out of my apartment too much because there are some creepy people online. So, but yeah, I'll show you a little overview of the balcony. We've just got like a little seat set out there that we got from Ikea and a little plant. Moving like off the kitchen, we've got the first bedroom. So we actually got a two bed flat mainly because me and my boyfriend both like work from home, my boyfriend works from home like half the week and I work from home obviously all the time filming content so we just wanted to get a second bedroom because like we needed an office space basically so I will show you in here but it's mainly just my boyfriend's office because I do most of my filming like around the house so he has the whole office room but yeah this room also came with a bed because the flat was furnished um, and we did ask for them for, to remove it because we didn't need a second bed but now it is in there so I can't really use this room for filming because there's not enough space because there's a second bed but I mean it doesn't bother us too much and it's good for when guests stay so I'll show you in here so yeah this is the second bedroom as I said we don't really need this bed and it kind of takes up half the room so it's kind of annoying but like we don't really know what to do with this whole bed so for now we've just got my boyfriend's desk in here he got this from Ikea he spent ages building it the other day um, but yeah, and then I've also got this painting. I don't know if you can see, let me just move you over. My boyfriend wants to put this painting up on the wall, so that is a work in progress. I need to get some of those like command strips because obviously because we're renting, we can't like 
have anything on the walls. Um, but yeah, we're going to put that painting up there so the room will look a bit more exciting. And then in the second bedroom, there's also this wardrobe behind me and there's a bathroom. As I said, we don't really need this many bathrooms in this flat. Like, it's an excessive amount of toilets to have three toilets between two people. Um, so neither of us have really used this toilet, but I mean, it's good to have a guest stay because then they have their own bathroom to use. Um, but yeah, I'll show you in there quickly, even though it's not that exciting. Yeah, so this is sort of the spare bathroom. It is just got like, it's got a lot of storage in, which we have not used at all. As you can see, it's literally empty. But I am a massive skincare hoarder, so I think by the time I buy some new skincare and stuff, I will fill up this cupboard eventually. Um, but yeah, there's just like a shower in here and a toilet. I mean, it's good for guests, but we don't really need this, this bathroom. But yeah, it's good for guests when they come. So yeah, this is the second bedroom. So that was the second bedroom slash office. And um, now I'm going to take you across the living room to the main bedroom because I think this is the most exciting room in the whole flat. It's like the thing that made me really want to live in this flat compared to all the other ones we've used because there's such big windows that the lighting is so nice and like in the mornings like the sun comes in and yeah, I will show you it. It is so nice. So as you walk in our main bedroom, it's got this like massive hallway. Like I feel like I'm gonna order some sort of like vanity desk to put here because there's just like so much space here. But this is gonna be great for filming. Like when I film my TikToks, there's like so much room to film my like passion videos. So I am very happy and it's like so bright and light in here. And then our ensuite bathroom is just here off the hallway. So I will show you in here. It's pretty much similar to the other bedrooms um, bathroom, but this one has a bath and the other one has a shower. So here is inside the main bathroom. I love the lighting in here because you've got these like lights underneath and it just looks really nice at night. Um, but yeah, these are full of my skincare and stuff. I feel like I need to organize this a bit better. But yeah, I've basically got like my skincare, my hair care, and then like my fake tan and like body stuff up there. So that's how I've organized it. And then my boyfriend has a little cupboard because he doesn't have as much stuff as me. Um, but yeah, this is just like a bath shower all in one. And yeah, I love this bathroom so much. It's so nice and like relaxing. And then coming from the bathroom, we have our bed and my wardrobes. Um, I have stolen all of the wardrobes in the main bedroom because I have so many clothes, as you guys probably guessed. Um, and then my boyfriend has all his clothes in the wardrobe in the other room. But yeah, I've spent so long trying to organise these wardrobes. I don't know if they're exactly like what I want them to be eventually. But right now I've got like all my coats and my hoodies and sort of tops in this side. And then in this little section, I've got like my jeans and all my trousers and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's how it's organised for now. There's also these shelves. Some of the stuff on this shelf is kind of junk that I need to organise. But yeah, I got these baskets from TK Maxx because I feel like they make the mess not look as messy on the shelves. But yeah, we've still got two free ones which we're going to like film stuff once we organise things a bit better. But yeah, here's my bed. Um, this came with the flat as well, which is so useful because I didn't have to buy like hardly any furniture. We just have to buy all the like little stuff and kitchen stuff. But yeah, this bedroom just has like such good lighting. You guys can probably tell, but like right now when I'm filming this, I think it's almost like four o'clock. And yeah, it's just so like nice and bright and I just can't wait to film like so many YouTube videos here and I'm going to film like all my little short fashion videos probably in this room because it has the best lighting. But yeah, that is the end of my tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so excited. You, got, you guys probably know I'm talking about this for actual months, like moving out. And I just am so happy and like so grateful and so lucky to be able to be living here. And yeah, I'm just like so happy and I hope you guys all are doing well. But yeah, honestly, I would not be able to like afford to rent this apartment or even like have the job that I do without all you guys watching. So thank you so much. I'm like, I appreciate you all so much. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all having a good week and I'm sure you will see me posting many videos and TikToks and YouTube shorts all in this apartment because I'm going to be filming so much more now that I have my own space. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in next week's video. I know this one's a little bit late, it's because I was moving house, but I promise you I'm going to get back to every Friday uploads now. I think that's the first time I've missed it in like quite a lot of months, so sorry that this video is a bit late, but I'm sure you can understand why. And I will see you next Friday for a new video.